Hi hey, mate, give me your full name. Mark Anthony Clutton. And just tell us your story. Um, my story... I was using ten bags of heroin and ten bags of crack. A day. A day. A day. A day. The Cotton Street Project's opened. I've been in here a week. I had cuts all over my hands, which weren't healing the healing, as you can see. And, and you got a, a, a neck problem as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got um, I had an abscess on my neck, yeah. which is, is virtually near enough cleared up. 43 years old. I've lost a leg through drugs. This is make or break for me. If yeah. I don't do this, then I'm dead man this time next year. Mark has an addiction for 25 plus years. He's been on 100 pounds of crack and heroin a day. The amazing thing is that he has come off drugs of his own accord through the system that we've employed in Cotton Street. We have had seven successes, just like Mark, since January this year. I don't think Liverpool City Council could ever state that they've ever had such a success rate as that. I've just got on a subset script three weeks ago nearly now. Um, I haven't used for three weeks now. I feel great. Um, life's getting better for me now. If I hadn't come in early in October, I would have been dead. I wouldn't have lasted the Christmas or the winter. I would have been dead. The doctors told me if I'm using still, he's not giving me a leg, which I can understand. Why should he give me a leg if I'm going to lose another one? Or, but like I say, since I've been here, I've made progress leaps and bounds. I've got the support around me I need here as well. Good, you've done well yesterday. Other places I've never had the support, what's needed, but here I've got it. Yeah, Brian's been a massive support for me as well. He's like a dad to me. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, he is, he's, he's like a dad to me, you know what I mean. Yeah. If ever I've needed his help, he's always there. We've had some remarkable successes here in terms of people's rehabilitation. We've taken them in, we've, we've put our arm around them, we've got a better understanding of what it is that is the issue. We've put them in front of the authorities who've advised them on the best path to rehabilitation. You're homeless, you're on the streets, and people think, oh yeah, I'll give them a flat. They're, they're happy now, but we still need support after because we, we've struggled to budget. We've been addicted to alcohol, drugs, whatever, for so many years. We've got clean, but we still need that little extra support there just to help us on our way, which there never has been in the past but now there is. What we've achieved here is we've applied a, I guess a, a, a level of business strategy and a business logic to this and I think that was important because we went through a massive learning curve with Kingsway House. Kingsway House there was an element of mayhem and chaos. What happened there was by the seat of our pants. We've applied the learning from that with, with, with Cotton Street. I'm 44 this year. I'm not going to get a chance like this again. If I mess this up now, I'm ending up back on the street and I will end up in a box. I haven't seen family for nearly 15 years and that's something I want to do and that's only going to be possible when I'm clean. Enabling them to have hope and to understand what the next stage in their life is, which hopefully is not here. Hopefully it's, it's being independent, it's living on their own, but having still that support mechanism so they don't fall off the rails again. My goals is I want to get back in touch with my sisters and a leg and then a job. My own place basically, somewhere I can call my home, you know, uh, and have a big smile on my face then. The big house room party. Yeah, you'll be invited. You're all invited. <laughs> Every day is a school day here, so we're never going to stop learning. We're never going to stop learning because Every single person here is unique and has got a unique need. Whether it's class A, whether it's alcohol, whether it's mental health issues, uh, physical health, or they just need someone to put their arm around them and listen and, and, and have a conversation with them, we're here to support and to engage with those who have that skill set. And we learn from them and we're applying it and it's working. Made me a new man basically. Got me, got me off the drugs and got me back to the mark that I used to be before I was on drugs 20 odd years ago. Life's getting good for me now. I know it's, it's gonna get better.